I know that starting out as a photographer or videographer can be extremely tough. You have no clients and oftentimes you have a very small portfolio that doesn't give you a lot of leverage. That's why in today's video, I wanna give you eight side hustles that you can do this weekend to make money with photo and video. Many of these we've actually done ourselves and if you apply yourself, I don't think it would be unreasonable at all to think that you could make a thousand dollars this weekend. Anyways, let's get into it. This first side hustle is actually quite a unique one and depending on where you live, could actually end up being quite lucrative. For this, all you're gonna need is a camera, a stool, a piece of poster board from the dollar store, and a Sharpie. What you do is that you write on the poster board that you're going to take portraits for $5, or it can be any small amount of money. Then you go to your local park, beach, or pretty much anywhere that has a lot of people and offer your services as essentially a pop-up photo booth. You tell them that you're going to take their portrait, edit it, and send it to them within 24 hours. You'll most likely have the most success doing this on a day that has nice weather because there's gonna be more people walking around. And this can be a very fun thing for tourists to do if they're on vacation in the city that you live. Just make sure that when people agree for you to take their photo, you get their email address so you can actually send them the photo. This is also a perfect time to give them one of your cards. It's free advertising. For the best results with these, I would recommend using a lens with a low aperture, something like 2.8 or around that, because they're great for portraits and they give you that nice out of focus background look. The next side hustle we've got for you is real estate photography. This is one that we've actually done ourselves and could actually, if you did it enough, turn into your main hustle. And it's also extremely scalable. The way we found clients is we went to the websites for all of the main real estate companies in our city. On those websites, they often have lists of all of the realtors that work for them. From there, we went through and collected as many emails as we possibly could. Keep in mind, this is a game of quantity. So the more emails you collect, the more success you're probably gonna have. Once we collect about 20 to 30 emails, we formulate an email to them saying that we will do a complimentary photo shoot for one of their listings free of charge. And why wouldn't they take you up on that offer? Cause it's completely free. I know some people have different opinions on working for free, but if you're starting out, we think this is a great way to get your foot in the door. You're probably asking yourself right now, if I'm doing it for free, then how do I make any money? The way you make money is you offer your first photo shoot for free. You take the photos, you edit them, you send them back. And if you did a good job, ideally the client will like your photos and hire you back to do another photo shoot. And this is the one that you actually charge for. We've actually done this ourselves and it's proven to be quite lucrative, especially if you get repeat clients. Now, before we move on to the next side hustle and with all these good ideas of different side hustles you can do, you're gonna need a place that you can keep them all organized. For us, we like to use monday.com. Monday.com is a work management platform designed to complement your workflow and help you effortlessly collaborate with others. To give you a better understanding of how it works, we want to show you how we set up Monday.com to organize our shoots. The main project board shows us at a glance what projects we have on the go at any given time. On the side here, there's a section outlining the team member responsible for each element of a project in order to keep them accountable. Having collaborators visible like this has been a game changer as we often work in a team and the project is often split up between quite a few different people. One of our favorite features is the time tracking feature, allowing us to accurately keep track of how long each element of a project takes in case we need to record it for our records or bill a client. Because we make videos for both YouTube as well as freelance commercial projects, we need a platform that is extremely flexible. With just a few clicks, it is super easy to change monday.com's layout so that it seamlessly works with our workflow as well as adapts to any project that comes our way. If you are at all interested in checking out monday.com for yourself, there is going to be a link in the description down below where you can get yourself a free 30 day trial. We highly recommend it. Anyways, back to the video. The next side hustle we've got for you is to take headshots for people. And the way you do this is you go onto LinkedIn and look through local companies in your area and look for employees that don't have the best headshots. From there, you reach out to them and offer to take headshots for them. Not too long ago, we had a friend do this themselves and after one person agreed to hire them to take photos, word spread throughout the company and by the end, she was taking headshots for 30 employees all from the same company. This also may be a little easier if you already have a portfolio of some headshots, but if you don't have a portfolio of headshots, what you can do is get your family or friends and take headshots of them for free and use that as a portfolio. 
this side hustle could potentially provide you with passive income. Ooh, <laughs> passive income. <laughs> this side hustle could potentially provide you with passive income if you do it right. However, not everyone will be able to do this one because you do need to have a drone. But if you have a drone, what you do is you create a drone reel of your city or town. Now let me explain how this can turn into money in your pocket. What you do is over a couple days during golden hour when you have nice weather, you go out with your drone and you video iconic landmarks and just generic shots of your city or town. This can be of the city park, the beach, any notable neighborhoods, the skyline, pretty much any public place in your city or town. Then you take that footage and edit it all together into a drone highlight reel. Then you take that reel and you post it to YouTube. Now this next step is the most important step. In the description of the video, preferably above the fold, you state, if you want to license or use this footage, please contact me. Also, you put your contact information in the description of the video so people can actually get in touch with you. Then you wait. What will happen is if there are any event organizers, tourism boards, or business professionals, if they need drone footage of your city or town, the first place that they're probably gonna look is YouTube. And if you have a video already on YouTube of generic drone footage, rather than them needing to hire a drone operator to get the footage themselves, it will be easier for them to just pay you the money and license the footage off of you. The nice thing about this is that you do not need to have any YouTube subscribers at all. What you're relying on is the searchable nature of these videos. So a tip is to make sure your title of the video is something searchable. You can name it something generic like Kelowna drone footage for where we're from or basically anything to make it searchable. Please keep in mind to follow all of your local drone laws. We are not responsible if anything were to happen to you if you get in trouble for flying a drone where you're not supposed to. The next side hustle is something that I've actually done myself and it is flipping film cameras. What you do is you go to local garage sales or yard sales where older people are oftentimes selling their old camera gear. And oftentimes, old people don't know exactly how much their old camera gear is worth. This means that you can get film cameras for a pretty decent price. What you then do is take the film camera that you bought from the garage sale for like five or $10 and go to Facebook Marketplace or eBay and sell it there for anywhere from $100 to $200. A really popular camera that I've actually bought and sold a couple times is the Canon AE-1. These are pretty common. And if you find one, they usually go for $100 to $150 consistently depending on the condition. And with film photography becoming more and more popular, these cameras are becoming worth more and more. Another thing that you can do is actually sell your old camera gear. I don't know about you, but as a filmmaker, I seem to collect a lot of gear that I use, but eventually it just sits around and collects dust. So what you can do is go through all of your gear and do an audit of what you actually use and what you don't. From there, like the last side hustle, you go to Facebook Marketplace or eBay and you sell it. We actually did this a couple months ago and it turned out that we had about three to $4,000 in equipment just laying around that we were able to turn into actual cash. Also, the Christmas season is coming up, so this might be the perfect time to sell it because people are often on the lookout for Christmas gifts for their loved ones. And that is it for all of the side hustles that we want to share with you. I hope you feel inspired to maybe go out this weekend and make a bit of extra cash. I don't think it would be impossible or even unreasonable to think that if you employed a couple of these this weekend, you could walk away with a thousand dollars. Now you are gonna be working hard. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you, but if you're willing to put in the work, you could walk away with a decent amount of money. If you're new here, make sure you go and follow us on Instagram at TMSProductions underscore. Also like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out. And we'll see you guys in another video. Okay, bye. Mm. One sec, there's footsteps. <laughs>